that if you have an interior load bearing wall that that's a bad thing sometimes it just has to happen to give you an example you can see right here that you have this two by six wall on the interior that had to be load bearing just because of where it landed in the design and we don't have block or maybe there wasn't enough room on the inside of this home to add block wood is totally fine as a load bearing structure and like we talked about before in previous videos your load path is carried from these straps that are connecting to your top plate from your stud from the truss all the way down to this strap connecting to your bottom plate this bottom plate right here is anchored into the slab by these large anchor bolts buried deep into an in interior load bearing footing so even if you do have interior load bearing walls there's specifications to make sure that your roof load path is connected from the slab all the way up through the roof to keep your home safe during a wind event i'm leslie i hope that helps